Hello and welcome to the uh, instructions on how to use the um, inventory tracker. If you purchase this product, you'll receive a link uh, for a download PDF file. And when you download the, the file and open it, this is what it's going to look like, right? So this file contains a link to the Google Sheet. So all you have to do is click over here where it says access your Google Sheet template. And when you click on it, what you're going to see is it will ask if you want to save it to your uh, uh, Google Drive. So you need to be logged in with your uh, Gmail account to do that. And when you open the file, it's going to look like this. Now here you have six, seven, eight tabs. You have the instructions tab, which is basically going to cover everything that this video is going to cover. Then you have the setup tab. You have a suppliers tab, you have an inventory tab, you have a purchases tab, you have a sales tab, and you have a sales dashboard tab, and you also have a stock dashboard tab. Now, I'm just quickly going to um, come over here and uh, show you. So in this spreadsheet, you see that there are these icons, one that shows a don't type or a don't touch sign, and one that shows a green hand, meaning that you can uh, add in your information in here. So when you come up to the setup tab, if you want to change the currency, you can do that over here. You can type in the year that you're doing this inventory in. And uh, here you see that under inventory categories, you can add your own custom inventory categories. Under the purchase status, this has already been done for you. And the sales status has already been done for you. And therefore you see this little red don't type in um, tab. Now I've already uh, filled this in for the example tab. And I've added in these categories. So these are fully customizable. You can put this in for whatever niche or whatever type of store your, um, your products fall under. Uh, now I just have t-shirts, shorts, pants, underwear, jackets, socks, shoes, dresses, kids' toys, and kids' clothing in here. And then when you go under the suppliers, so um, under your suppliers tab, uh, you have to put in all of your supplier information over here. Now I've already filled this up here, uh, just a little bit of it. So here you have a supplier's name, contact name, phone number, email, website, address, and notes. Now once you enter in this information, the supplier name will become available as a drop-down menu option in the other tabs over here. So they'll be under the um, uh, inventory purchases, sales dashboard, and stock dashboard. Now let's go to the um, to the fourth tab, which is the inventory tab. So again, when you come here uh, to the spreadsheet, when you first get it and there's nothing in it, this is what you have. And then I've just filled some in information here for the inventory, and. Um, so the category over here, these are the same categories that you entered underneath the uh, setup tab over here. And you can add as many as 50 categories and you can also change them, like you can update them and they'll automatically become available underneath over here. So let's, for example, if I want to add another category, um, let's call it baby items and then I come to the inventory and now baby items is available over here okay so this is where you're going to add a description for your items let's say we can select the baby item here let's say um, our initial stock we start at five uh, here is where 
this spreadsheet becomes very powerful because you can set a very low stock and also a low stock amount. So what that means is that the spreadsheet is going to tell you when your stock is really low and, and when your stock is low. So let's say if I put this as six, now you see how this changes because your low stock amount at the moment is more than the initial stock amount. The spreadsheet is going to tell you which items uh, are running low, which are out of stock or which are low in stock. And this is how you can have an overview and see which items need to be reordered. Now, let's say that this item I order it from AliExpress and uh, let's say the sale price of it is $20. The purchase cost is let's say $4 and here it tells me what the profit is. Now let's go over here to the purchases tab and here you're going to see that all the the items are are available uh, as a drop down menu. So the onesie item that we just added, the three to six month onesies, you can select it and now we can order more of it so we can add more to our already existing stock and just as a side note before you can do that before you can make a purchase of an item you need to add that item in the inventory so let's say if i have zero stocks available from this item i can just put zero over here and I still need to set up the very low stock and the low stock amount. And here, if I'm just starting out, for example, and if this item, if I've never had this item in my inventory, this is how I would log it in. I'll put the initial stock at zero and the, I'll still need to set up the very low stock and the low stock amount. And it shows that the item is completely out of stock. So then we're going to come here to the purchases. And let's say that I've added um, an SAQ number. So the SAQ number here, uh, you add it under the inventory and it automatically populates it under the SKU number. Notice how, there, how here we have the no touch icon and all the cells that have formulas or that are set to automatically populate are also highlighted in light gray. So here in this column, you don't have to enter anything. And also here in this column, you don't have to enter anything. So let's say that the order date that we have ordered this item here and we've ordered 35 items. And so for the inventory here, we have our preferred supplier. So I can either select um, this one or let's say maybe I have another supplier for the same item so I'm going to select um, whichever supplier I'm finding my item in and let's say they uh, they deliver I should expect that within two weeks of the order date and the status for this item is um, let's say uh, processing right because I've just ordered it I've just ordered it um, and uh, after I receive an update from my supplier, I can change the status of the order as either shipped or delivered or whichever one is going to be at the moment. So let's say the date received. So let's say I haven't received that item e in. And when I receive the items, I'm going to check to make sure that the items received are actually the number of items that I've ordered. And in case that I receive fewer items or lesser items, let's say, let's say I have 35 items. I've received the same amount as what I have uh, ordered. Um, the difference is going to show here. So I want this difference to be zero. Let's say if I receive fewer items, then it's going to show me here how many items are missing from my order. And then I can go ahead and I can contact my supplier, I can ask them and tell them, hey, I did not receive the same number of items as I ordered. Can you please either reimburse or sell me the remaining? Okay, so this is what this is for. It's a very useful column to have. So let's say I have not received this one yet, so I can delete that. OK, 
Okay, so then let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and do the example over here. So let's say that time has now passed and this order has been delivered. I have received it and I have received it on, let's say, 23rd of May, so one day late. However, I received the correct number of um, items. And let's go ahead towards sales and let's say that on this date, um, whatever, I'm just going to put something here. I'm going to sell 31 items. Let's say a person comes and buys a whole bunch of items. Now the price per unit, uh, I'm going to take it out of here. So my under the inventory, I can see that the sale price is 20. So I'm going to come here um and and put in my sale price so um and i have let's say i have already shipped these items okay so this is how you'd log that okay so let's have a look again at the inventory so we we have um the three to six month onesies um baby items and here the number on hand is um 36 because um Okay, so let, let's go back to, so let's have a look at the um, three to six month onesies that we added. It is under the baby items category. I've given the initial stock as uh, one, or let's give it a five. And uh, we, we made a purchase, so we've added this item. So the purchase quantity was uh, 40. And... Um, uh, the quantity received, let's say we received 40 of it, right? So now that we have purchased the item and we have received it, it's been, so we have received it because it's delivered. And here we wrote the quantity received. So now in the inventory, it shows us uh, 45 items, right? Which is the quantity that we received plus our initial stock. And here the item shows us uh, in stock. Let's say if we change this, you're going to see that uh, the, the stock status is also going to uh, change as we demonstrated earlier. So for example, let's say that um, uh, we, we say that the very low stock, if we change that to 45, you can see that this also changes over here. So the very low stock, uh, you want to set this number to be lower than the low stock amount. So let's say I can set, let's say if this is um, an item that sells a lot, it's a very hot item. So I can say that my uh, low stock amount is 20 and my very low stock amount can be 10. Okay. And uh, so when this number falls under uh, or falls yeah under the 20 it's going to tell me that it's um, a low stock let's go to sales and i have logged um let's say that at the end of may uh, the three to six one ounces somebody is going to purchase 31 of them let's say they have two quadruplets and they need lots of onesies now their um price per unit is this many and um let's say i have shipped the item so when the item is shipped, you um, let's say that let's say we've shipped the item, but let's say that now uh, it is um, completed. So when the item is completed, let's come here to inventory and you see that the number on hand that we have is uh, has been reduced. OK, by the number of the sales that we made over here. Okay, so now let's go to our sales dashboard and uh, the sales dashboard, it is just that it's a dashboard showing the sales and you have here, um, you can select uh, for which month you want to see. So uh, if you change the month, it also, all the details and all the stats here also change. So in this case, most of our uh, transactions here have been logged let's say we have two transactions that are logged in january so for this example let's have a look uh to see uh, for the month of january so 
here it shows you the total sales so for the month of january total sales are twenty dollars and if you come here uh, you can see that you have two transactions for january and then 15 plus 5 is also twenty dollars so if we come back here to the sales this is correct total quantity sold again this totals the quantity that you sold for the month of january so in this case it's three plus four that's also correct and um, uh, uh, it also shows you how much profit you made for that month based on the uh, purchase cost so this would be your um, so your total price your total sale price minus your um, total um, cost per unit this will be the uh, purchase cost so if you go back to the sales dashboard um, what this gives you here is uh, it sorts out all of your inventory uh, and the items that are sold for that period uh, and it it classifies them so this is total sales by product and this is total sales by category and what this allows you to do is to see which are your best sellers um, sorted by product and which are your best sellers sorted by category so for example here you can see that the best sellers are the underwear men's and the kids shorts so this is by product and here you can see that the um, the sales are uh, sorted by category and then uh, the uh, stock dashboard is uh, an overview of the status of your stocks so here you have uh, it shows you the items that are out of stock it shows you all the items that are very low stock it shows you the items that are low stock and the items that are in purchase now i have hidden here um let's unhide so i'm going to just unhide this to show you now you don't have to de don't delete these um, extra columns Um, you can, uh, let's say, you can hide the ones that you don't need. So this allows you to have a quick overview of uh, what's going on with your stocks. Okay, so this is how you use the um, inventory tracker um, and the sales tracker uh, spreadsheet. Let me know if you have any questions, any suggestions. Or uh, if for some reason um, you have any recommendations, um, let me know uh, in the comments below or you can also reach me directly through um, the uh, Etsy shop or through my website. Thank you so much and uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have other suggestions for other spreadsheets or tools or other information that you would like and I'll be happy to make that for you. Thanks a lot and uh, hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.